So this patient's coming in for evaluation of a swollen and throbbing um, right thumb. He slammed it in a door approximately two days ago. Um, he'd had x-rays done and they were negative, but unfortunately <clears throat> they didn't put any uh, what we call burrow holes in the nail bed to allow the pressure release. You can see how the pressure is built up all through this area. So this is pretty basic, but the reason why I'm filming this as a teaching point is twofold. One, at this stage a lot of people sort of say that there's no point in doing them because there's too much clot in here, but you'll see what I mean when I put them in. You can still get it to drain and that'll it'll take away a lot of the pain for him and he'll be a lot more comfortable and the likelihood that he saves the nail is much harder if you just put the burr holes in the nail base. The other thing, always reassure your patients, the nail base doesn't have any sensation, so as long as you just stick to the nail base, you're fine. It's when you go through it that you have to be a little bit careful. And it's the same reason why there's a home remedy where you can just heat up um, a paper clip or something like that and you can pop the nail and you can do it, but the problem is you don't have as much control and you can pop through the skin and that'll hurt a little bit. The other trick I tell patients too is if you have to do that on children, what I do with them is I'll show them on their good nail because they'll be too afraid for me to touch this one. So I'll show them on their good nail and I'll show them that when I do this with the actual needle, that doesn't hurt at all. And that'll allow you to sort of take care of it from that perspective. So all I'm gonna be doing here is, um, and this patient's sitting, we've already checked with him, he's okay with blood. You may wanna lie your patients down because sometimes when you do this, they, they can faint on you. Um, so you just take a basic needle. All I'm gonna be doing is putting it at the base here of the nail bed. Now he'll feel a little bit of pressure but all I'm doing is about four rotations, then I'm rotating the whole needle about 60 degrees, then doing it again, then rotating the needle, doing it again, and just repeating that pattern. And it'll just burr a hole, it's not too hard, it doesn't matter how thick the nail is, you'll actually get through it. So I just keep adding a little bit of pressure, you're okay. And I rotate it because there's a bevel obviously on the needle and you won't have as nice a, an opening if you don't rotate it. And you start to see it showing a little bit. So all I do, you can't tell by looking, but I'm adding a little bit less pressure because I don't want to pop through the nail too quickly. Just like that. And then sometimes I'll just go in a bit of an angle for the same reason because I'm just trying to widen that burr hole a little bit. Just like that. And we want that to ooze a bit. So it's going to want a clot because that's obviously what blood does. I'm just opening that a little bit wider, just like that. Then I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing over here. And you'll see what I mean as I'm doing this one. It does actually bleed, so you don't have to give up on it, sort of say, ah, it's two, three days out, this is all just clot, there's no point in doing it. Because even just that little bit of blood that we took out right there can really help the patient have less pressure and pain with it. Now sometimes you will find if the nail's really thick that you can go away at this for quite a while, but usually it's not too bad. As you can see there, it's starting to go through. And again, I started putting a little bit less pressure on that. Turn your nails a little bit. Same thing here, I'm just doing it a little bit on the side. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the other one. So again, this is pretty basic. Just gonna put a little pressure on this, sorry. And there's no anesthetic here, so we don't have to freeze this up for him. You just have to be careful how much pressure you put on it, because it's uncomfortable for him. So now all I instruct them to do, so now that there's openings here, we just go home and have this run under a little bit of warm water so that it actually continues to drain and doesn't clot off at the openings. And that's it.